Sa Somnath, the chief of the ISRO. And just imagine, his name means Lord of the Moon or Protector of the Moon. What are the chances, Shiv, that the man who leads ISRO at this moment when we register our first successful landing on the surface of the moon is called Lord of the Moon or Protector of the Moon? Uh, amazing that his name uh, means Protector of the Moon, but the real zinger there, and I, I know you caught it, Rahul, was when the journalists were haranguing him for answers. Mm -hmm. And he said, please don't force me to give too detailed answers. I don't want to reveal my secrets and then everyone else will learn about how cost effective we are. Rahul, just today, Elon Musk's tweet has gone viral where he's talked about how, uh, you know, the, the cost of Interstellar, the movie by Christopher Nolan, is actually more than the okay, budget thank that was you. used by ISRO thank uh, you. for Chandrayaan 3. So, uh, Somnath is king. He's like a true thank rock you. star today. No. He's done what... Uh, you know, most people had uh, written off as far as India's moon aspirations were concerned. There was, in fact, a theory that India might actually dump the Chandrayaan program entirely and move on to whatever comes next. He's the man on whose shoulders this has actually been proven right. You know, and Elon Musk's uh, space company, SpaceX, is actually yeah. trying to build uh, launch vehicles which are far bigger than anything that's been seen. There were a lot of money. So this is actually not just government. But even in India, with the whole space economy expanding in the way that it is, so many space tech firms getting involved, the effort to try and bring government and the private sector together. I want to go across to R. Madhavan. And the interesting thing is that we have uh, Nambi Narayan joining us as well. R. Madhavan played the role of Nambi Narayan in rocketry. Uh, and so it's a bit of a magical moment. I have uh, Madhavan wow. on the phone. So, Madhavan, welcome. You know, you've done a bit of this uh, in real on the big screen what was it like to experience the vikram landing on the moon you know there is not enough words to explain to you how i feel just the euphoria is 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 intoxicating you know i i can't i can't even begin to tell you um, i have just been remotely involved with uh, with isro in terms of making a movie on nambi narayan sir and i know the kind of pain and agony and ecstasy they go through but to recover from Chandrayaan 2 in such a short time to correct all those mistakes and to make this graceful landing of Vikram on the satellite, on the moon is, is nothing short of a miracle. And, and considering the amount of budget and the resources available to the ISRO scientists, this is actually a miracle. And uh, I, my heart swells with pride. I just don't know what else to say. No, but it's also brought about a lot of interest in science and technology. My seven-year-old son, ordinarily least interested in anything to do with outside dinosaurs and such. Now suddenly very excited, trying to read up everything that he can, watch videos and try and learn as much as possible about this mission and about the moon and what lies beyond the earth, which is fascinating, I think. Absolutely. And you know, India has, that's what it's done in terms of, uh, you know, creating interest among the youth. We've leapfrogged uh, their interest into and uh, to knowing about space. You know, you have to admit that space is the final frontier. Uh, you know, the, uh, you know. Earlier on, we used to say those who control the seas control the world, and then those who control the airspace control the world. Right now, space is going to be uh, the place where dominance has to be set, and we need the youngsters to believe that there is a career there, there is excitement there, and there is a life to be followed as a, as a, you know, as somebody involved with space travel. And I'm so glad that this has happened on the moment that you know the children are also getting so excited about it, and not to, not to forget. Uh, Nambi Narayan Sir's Vikas engine was instrumental in this launch as well, and it's never failed, an engine that has never failed, and this time too it will be successful, although a small part of the contribution, but yet an important one. Okay, thanks uh, Madhuan for joining us. We'll come back to you in just a moment. I'm also hoping for Nambi Narayanji to join us in just a few moments from now. We're trying to set that live link up for you. Uh, Raj Chingappa, what happens next? You know, we're building this solar observatory, Aditya. Can you give our viewers a sense of what to expect once the Aditya is up and running? Well, there are two very exciting programs up. Immediately, you're going to see Aditya, which is really observing the sun. Uh, we are sending this for the first time. It will go about 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth, position itself. Is that further from the moon or closer? Uh, further than the moon. The moon's only about uh, uh, 400,000 kilometers. So it's thrice so this as far is, as yes, the moon. Yes, four times the distance that you do. You position this uh, orbiter that is there, and this has all the kind of instruments to start observing. You know, the sun is critical for us. And the surface of the sun, the chromosome, uh, the corona, everything else, we will have our uh, eye in the sky looking and observing and also recording what is happening to the sun. Very critical uh, uh, 
you know, accomplishment if that happens. The other thing that I think really is going to put us along with the big boys of space, as Chandrayaan has done, is the Gaganyaan mission. And as uh, so, uh, what does Gaganyaan do? Explain that. Well, to Gaganyaan is for, for the first time we'll be having our, you know, sending our own people, our whole uh, astronauts, right, a, a, a human into space. When we have does never that done happen? that. That should, uh, you know, I'd asked uh, Dr. Somnath for a date, and I thought it would happen next year, but he says we're not timing it with anything. Mm. We, we are only going to make it perfect. This will be the first time that India will send someone into space by themselves. I, and one of the critical problems of doing that is we're great at building launchers, we're great at building satellites, we're also now great at building, a you know, a, a lander across the moon. But when it comes to putting humans in space, you know, you have to create the kind of atmosphere that is there within that spacecraft so that people can exist for we're those three, four days. We're doing that by ourselves or in collaboration well, with some countries? actually what's happened is that most of it we're doing by ourselves. But if you notice, when we went, uh, when uh, Prime Minister Modi went to America, one of the projects that we signed on was Artemis Project. Now, Artemis is NASA's project or U.S.'s project to bring um, uh, human uh, beings back to the moon as uh, America did so many years ago, 40 years ago. And part of that is the uh, training for astronauts. So one of the things is one of our astronauts will go up in, in that so that we get the kind of training required for our own Gaganyaan thing because it's a complex process, uh, you know, uh, having uh, astronauts uh, moving around in oh, space. Of course. So and that's, so, I think, the I two exciting projects I want to play out for our viewers that, that clip of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi speaking to S. Somnath, the chief of the Indian Space Research Organization. It's gone viral and here it is. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. आपका तो नाम सोमनाथ और सोमनाथ नाम चंद्र से जुड़ा हुआ है और इसलिए आज आपके परिवार जन भी आपके परिवार जन भी बहुत आनंदित होंगे मेरी तरफ से आपको आपकी पूरी टीम को बहुत बहुत बधाई और सबको मेरी तरफ से अभिनंदन कह दीजिए और हो सके उतना जल्दी मैं आप सबको रूबरू में भी बधाई दूंगा बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और बहुत बहुत बधाई ओके नमस्कार आपका तो नाम सोमनाथ और सोमनाथ नाम चंद्र से जुड़ा हुआ है और इसलिए आज आपके परिवार जन भी आपके परिवार जन भी बहुत आनंदित होंगे मेरी तरफ से आपको आपकी पूरी टीम को बहुत बहुत बधाई और सबको मेरी तरफ से अभिनंदन कह दीजिए और हो सके उतना जल्दी मैं आप सबको रूबरू में भी बधाई दूंगा बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और बहुत बहुत बधाई ओके टेल आर व्यूअर्स आर वॉचिंग अस लाइव ऑन इंडिया टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विल बी लैंडिंग straight in uh, Bengaluru on Saturday morning, mm. early in the morning around 6, 6.30 is when he's supposed to land, 10, 10.30 is when he'll be meeting ISRO scientists. That isn't known yet, but we're breaking that to our viewers that he will be going straight, Shiv, yeah. from South Africa to Bengaluru. He was to speak at the B20 event in the capital at 10 a.m. on the 26th. That's now been pushed for lunch on the 27th because he'd rather be with the ISRO scientists.